Good afternoon, Cigar Review number eight. This is take two since I just knocked my camera over. Uh, we're looking at the Perdomo Lot 23 Maduro. I really can't say enough good things about Perdomo cigars. They make great cigars that are consistently high quality and they're reasonably priced. Something that really can't be said for a lot of other brands. They're very common. They make you know 10 million or more a year, might even be you know 20 million. They're just flat out great cigars. The Lot 23 Maduro is exactly the same as far as the filler and the binder. The only thing different is the wrapper. It's supposed to that normal Connecticut wrapper that most of them have. Uh, it's just a fantastic cigar. So fans of the classic Lot 23 will like the Maduro with, with no problem. I saw some reviews saying it's a medium to full bodied cigar. I mean, I don't know by what standard. By the standard of what I've been smoking in the past week, this is a, this is a mild to medium bodied cigar. Uh, but I guess for most people, they, they would consider it a medium bodied cigar. As far as the cigar itself, it's excellent, right? It burns well, lights well, draws well. It's well made, doesn't, you know, it's not falling apart. And it's got some notes of chocolate. I definitely get leather on this one as opposed to some other cigars. Maybe a little nutty flavor, even maybe peanut. Um, it's just high quality. It does have a pretty powerful cigar smell, which is kind of odd to describe, but this is definitely one where if I smoke this inside, there's no hiding that six hours later, you, you definitely smoked it inside. But it's a really good cigar. I love the Perdomo brand, mostly because of the story of their family. It's just, it's so interesting. Uh, so the Lot 23 refers to a kind of virgin plot of land that they found in Nicaragua, supposedly had great soil, and that's where they grow these to this day. Nick Sr., Nick Perdomo Sr., and his son, you know, I guess Nick Jr., found the lot, started making cigars there in 2000. They actually started the brand in 1992. Uh, but the Perdomo cigar story goes way back further than that. So Nick Sr., uh, worked in Cuba. He worked for Partegas. He worked for H. Upman. I think he was executives pretty high up in uh, both of those outfits. Then when the you know dictatorship under Batista started, he fled. Right? He, I think he got shot even. He fled Cuba, made it to America under like the you know, Uruguayan embassy visa program or something. And he actually got a job as a janitor at a mental hospital. So right, he goes from Partagas executive to janitor in mental hospital. Um, but Cuban people work really hard, so he worked his way up, owned a big contracting company. His son, Nick Jr., ended up working as an air traffic controller. Then I guess he got interested in the cigar business, and they started making these cigars again in 1992. Hey, if you looked on their website today, that, that business is family run, right? It's Nick, it's his wife, his son's gonna run it. Um, and he, he's got a daughter that actually graduated from Alabama, I think three years after I did. So it's it's a family, family cigar business. And I just personally really like that. So the cigar is very good, right? high quality, low price, great smoke. And it's a really interesting family story. And even though they're a massive company, uh, their cigar factory, I think is 88,000 square feet. It's the second largest in Nicaragua. Even though it's a big company, I do feel like I'm supporting a family business a little bit more than I do if I'm buying, you know, something that's owned by, you know, General Cigar Company. Uh, but again, that's Cigar Review number eight. Uh, and thank you for watching.